Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. You sat here and told this jury that the events in Hicksville started with Mr. Depp getting really upset about a woman leaning on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's effectively what happened, yeah. You testified that he actually grabbed that woman's wrist and twisted it, right? And told her that he could effectively break her wrist by saying he knew how many pounds of pressure, asking her how many pounds of pressure it took to break a human wrist. But your own witness, your former best friend, Rocky Pennington, she didn't corroborate that, did she? Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of that night she saw. There were a lot of people there. She didn't testify that Mr. Depp rap grabbed anyone's wrist in Hicksville. Again, I don't know what Rocky saw. There were a lot of people there that night. You testified that once you brought Mr. Depp back to your trailer, he trashed it, correct? That is correct. And the manager of the Hicksville trailer park was furious that Johnny had wrecked the whole thing. Do you remember that testimony? That's correct. Well, we heard from that manager of the Hicksville trailer park, Morgan Knight, on Monday, didn't we? I'm not quite sure who that guy was or if he had any involvement in this. I know a lot of people have come out of the woodwork to be in involved. So you're accusing Mr. Knight of testifying and committing perjury? I'm not accusing anyone. I just don't recognize that man. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was upset with Mr. Depp spending time away from him. Isn't that correct? How would he know? He wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was yelling at Mr. Depp. Again, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of things to be involved in the Johnny Depp show, but he wasn't there. He doesn't know. And he certainly doesn't know what happened behind closed doors, like most people. So you're calling Mr. Knight a liar? I am saying he wasn't there, and what he testified to doesn't match what I know happened. But I don't fault him. He wasn't there, so how would he know? He testified he was there, Ms. Heard. Did you hear that? That's his testimony, yes. So you're calling him a liar? I'm just saying he wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that the trailer wasn't trashed, and that's why you're calling him a liar. He testified that a light fixture was broken, similar to the way that yes, Johnny's other than a light fixture, testified that was the to only my thing closet that was broken, being rearranged right? Heard, and things Ms. like Heard, that. The only thing that was broken in the trailer, according to Mr. Knight, was a light fixture. Yes or no? I realized that he summed it up by saying a light fixture was broken, just the way his security guard summed up him trashing my closet as being rearranged. Your Honor, I'm going to move to strike everything after he summed it up that it was a light fixture as non-responsive. Should answer the question, Your Honor. Yeah. Over, overruled. In the security guard testimony, Your Honor? I'll allow it. Go ahead. Mr. Knight also testified that he charged Mr. Depp only $62 for the damaged light fixture. You heard that, correct? I did. In Hicksville, you were the only one that was jealous that Mr. Depp was spending time from other people. Isn't that correct, Ms. Heard? That isn't correct. In Hicksville, you were the one who was upset that Mr. Depp wasn't giving you enough attention. Incorrect again. Ms. Heard, you told this jury that you had no idea the press was going to be at the courthouse when you got your TRO on May 27, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? Uh, I said I did not have anything to do with it. Yes. No. My question again. You told this jury that you had no idea that the press was going to be outside after you got the ex-party TRO on May 27, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? I apologize. I must have misunderstood, Ms. Vasquez. Um, I actually had no idea whether they were going to be there or not. When I walked into the courtroom that day, it was completely quiet, still, empty. Even though I had given Johnny's team notice that I was filing the TRO, your Honor, this is not we responsive. had no reason to Move believe to the press knew. And Your Honor, I would also ask that you instruct the witness to please stop talking once I lodge an objection. Your Honor, she's trying to answer the question as best she can, and Ms. Vasquez is misrepresenting to her what she testified to. Well, I'll instruct the last part as non-responsive, just if you could answer the questions asked. Okay? Thank you, Ms. Hurd. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross-examination last week, I showed you an audio where you told Mr. Depp to tell the jury, tell the judge, tell the world that he is a victim of domestic abuse. Do you remember that? That's correct. And you testified you found it hard to believe that Mr. Depp would tell the world that he's a victim of domestic abuse. Didn't you? I said I find it hard to believe that he would do that knowing that he himself had beat me up for five years. But he has told the world that he's your victim of domestic abuse, hasn't he? 
Well, he started to say that only recently. He didn't make that claim up until very recently. So when we signed our divorce agreement and we signed a statement saying that neither party had ever said false claims for financial gain, it was relevant and important to me because I was the only one making the accusations. I was the only one making those claims. He wasn't doing that at the time. And he signed his name to it. You didn't expect as many people to show up and testify on his behalf that did, did you? Incorrect. When you told this jury under oath that you never assaulted, actually, strike that. Sorry, no, no. Um, when you told this jury under oath that you punched Mr. Depp because you thought of Mr. Depp pushing Kate Moss down the stairs, you didn't expect Ms. Moss to agree to testify that that never happened, did you? Incorrect. I know how many people will come out of the woodwork to be in support of Johnny. So it you think Ms. Moss needs to come out of the that. woodwork to testify for Mr. Depp? Everybody who was around in the 90s and the early aughts knew that rumor. I had heard that rumor from multiple people. Of course, that's what flashed through my head when my violent husband not only swung for me, but all of a sudden swung for my sister. Of course I thought of that. I did not expect her to show up or not expect her to show up. It didn't matter. It doesn't change what I believed at the time when we were on the stairs and I thought he was going to kill my sister by pushing her down the stairs. You told this jury under oath that Mr. Depp was aggressive and trashed a trailer in Hicksville. You didn't expect the manager of the Hicksville property, Morgan Knight, to come forward and testify that that was untrue, did you? Incorrect. I've already been through trials with this man. I know how many people will come out in support of him. When you told this jury under oath that you had no idea that the paparazzi would be at the courthouse on May 27, 2016, you didn't expect a TMZ employee to show up to testify that TMZ had been alerted that you would be at the courthouse and knew exactly which side of your face to take a picture of, did you? I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. Is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? He is a very powerful man, and people love currying favor with powerful men. Curring and I know that and firsthand. And risking jail it. time for committing perjury. Excuse me. I didn't. I didn't hear your question. You didn't Excuse hear my me. Question. Miss Vasquez, if you do Curry, mind, please just repeat the question. I didn't hear you. Curry favor and commit perjury in this courtroom. I have seen for a people do this. Man? I have seen people do this time and time again. That's why I wrote the op-ed. You didn't expect Ben King, the house manager in Australia, to show up from England. He flew from England to testify that Mr. Duff's fingertip was found exactly where he said it would be. Did you? I have never heard Johnny testify to knowing where his finger was or really, frankly, making a claim that he knew where it was when it was found. I've never heard Johnny claim that. You didn't expect Johnny Keenan does, Wyatt. Johnny has never Ms. actually Heard. said that. Ms. Heard. And I think ben the jury King, can... Yes. Ms. Heard, there's no question pending. Mr. Neumeister was concerned with embedded metadata within the file that indicated that the software version that the file last ran through was Photos. What is Photos 3.0? Photos is actually the software application that's built into the Apple Macintosh operating system for laptops. Uh, this is the application that launches by default when you're on an Apple computer and use Photos. What are the capabilities of Photos 3.0? There's multiple capabilities for it. You can, for example, create an album with it and put multiple photos within an album. You can uh, organize or sort your photos by date and time taken or place. Uh, you can also use that to edit photos. As you sit here today, you cannot testify that all of the photographs produced by Ms. Hurd are authentic originals, correct? No, I can testify to the ones that Mr. Neumeister identified with specificity. Right, but there were thousands of photographs provided that Mr. Neumeister didn't testify about, right? I have no opinions on any photographs that the opposing expert has no opinions on. All right. My question to you, though, is as you sit here today, can you testify that all the photographs produced by Ms. Hurd are authentic originals? As I sit here today, I cannot opine to photographs that have not been presented to me that are not authentic originals. All right. You'll agree with me that in some instances, Ms. Heard produced multiple versions of the same photograph, right? Yes. Yeah, you just talked about it, right? Yes. All right. And you'll agree with me that the XF data of some of the photos produced by Ms. Heard reflect the use 
of a photo editing application? No. No? I'll agree that they show the use of the photos application, which is a sorting and editing application. Okay, so you, what, what you were quibbling with is that it will both sort and edit. That is correct. Okay. Can you see the circuit, sir? Yes, I can. You'll agree with me that those are different pictures? Visually, they look different to me, yes. All right. We can take that down. Sir, you just agreed with me that those two photos are different photos, correct? I agreed that they were visually different, yes. Right. So they are two visually different photos that were created at the exact same hour, the exact same minute, the exact same second as each other, correct? And that's what the daytime metadata shows, yes. And the metadata shows something else, too. They have the exact same file name, don't they, sir? Yes, but that's not embedded metadata. Right. How would you have this jury decide which one is real? I think you would need to look at the software metadata field which I haven't, I haven't looked at. I don't recall if I looked at for this particular field, but I think that's what even Mr. Neumeister said, that you need to look at the software metadata field. But we have two photographs entered into evidence in this court that have the same identifying information, but in your view, look visually different, correct? I don't agree that they have the same identifying information. I'm not, I don't see a software metadata field here. The identifying information includes the, the hour, minute, and second they were taken, this, this picture were taken. I see that. Assessment of the description of the cause of the injury offered by Ms. Hurd. <clears throat> I think that's highly unlikely. And why is that? Uh, because one, in general, when an injury is caused by punching against a wall or a hard, hard object, it is extremely rare to see an injury to the tips of the fingers, which is seen with Mr. Depp's injury. Generally, you're holding something with a fist, and that in general leads to injuries most commonly of the knuckles here, um, or fractures of the metacarpals. We call these boxer fractures. Second most common after those would be injuries to these, but as you can see, if you're holding something and make, hitting against something, it is very unlikely that the tips of the fingers will be injured. In addition, just uh, taking into account the radiographs and the pictures of the injury, um, I would not believe that a, a blunt force, solely a blunt force against a, a wall would result in the soft tissue loss. In your view, is the injury, can, can, you, tell, can you explain to us exactly why you think the injury um, is consistent with Mr. Depp's description? Well, again, his hand, he describes his hand being held um, over a marble bar, which is a firm, uh, something firm, unyielding, and the bottle hit against the finger. So basically the finger was crushed, resulting in, again, what I described as a comminuted fracture. And as Mr. Depp described, the bottle exploded, so uh, it certainly, reasonable that the, the glass that exploded as well uh, led to the soft tissue loss along the ulnar aspect of his finger. And that? Any objection to that demonstrative? No, Your Honor. Okay, 1312 can be published to the jury. Director Hughes, um, do you recognize what, what the National Center for PTSD is? What it is? Yeah. Yes, I do. And, and they publish um, the PTSD checklist for DSM-5. That's correct. That what we've been calling the PCL-5. Correct. All right. And do you, uh, are you familiar with the document that's uh, on your screen? Yes. All right. What is it? Uh, it's the instruction manual to how to administer the PCL-5. Okay. 
I'd like to move for the admission of 1312. Any objection to 1312 coming into evidence? No. All right, 1312 and evidence. Sorry. Can we go to the second page? Can we blow up the second paragraph on the right? That's the PCL5 should not be used as a Sloan diagnostic tool. Considering, when considering a diagnosis, the clinician will still need to use to use clinical interviewing skills and a recommended structured interview, e.g. the CAPS-5, to determine a diagnosis, correct? That's what the, that's what the manual says. Right, and this manual okay. also, also says that this is a screening instrument, so when you do the clinical interviewing, you absolutely can determine diagnosis. So the answer somebody. is yes. The manual says you, 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 you still the, need the to PCL use clinical five. interviewing skills, which I used. Well, let me finish my question. The PCL-5 should not be used as a standalone diagnostic tool, and they recommend using the CAPS-5 to determine a diagnosis, correct? It does say that, yes. Yeah, and you made your diagnosis before you did the CAPS-5. I made my diagnosis doing clinical interviewing and 11 other psychological tests that supported diagnosis of PTSD and symptomatology consistent with PTSD. Okay. Um, you said that we should read the manual. Would you also agree with me that we need to read the directions on these tests? Sure. Okay. Doctor, do you recognize the uh, demonstrative that's in front of you? Yes, but I didn't put the red lines on that. No, I did. Yes, I know. Okay. Um, so, this, what do you recognize this as? I recognize that we previously discussed this, and I told you that I oriented Ms. Heard to a different time frame because she was already out of the relationship. Okay, um, maybe we should back it up a little. This is the CTS-2 that you administered as part of this battery of tests that you indicate you, ought, uh, you did in relationship to your diagnosis. Right, this is the conflict tactic scale too. And you'll agree with me that this test specifically asks in front of every single question how often did this happen in the past year correct and i right. oriented and the individual know, to no, not I limit herself to the last is, year to get an accurate assessment of the violence and abuse that she experienced in the relationship objection you're on move to strike the, all right i'll move to strike the last part of the answer yes. i mean strike the last part of the answer thank you this is a blank form, but this is the dangerous assessment test that you also gave to Ms. Hurd, correct? I didn't give it to her. I filled it out based on the data that was provided to me. Oh, so you, you asked her the questions and then you filled it in? It, it was somewhat collaborative. Okay. Can we blow up the second full paragraph? It says, using the calendar, please mark the approximate dates during the past year when you were abused by your partner or ex-partner. You didn't use any calendar, did you? I did not use a calendar because she was already out of the relationship. As I said, these are sta static risk factors, so they don't change. So but I orient her to the time of the re relationship. Ma'am, it's fair to say that this examin examination that you gave specifically indicates that, it's, that you were supposed to look over the past year and you that's, that's not one the no that's one administration people use this instrument for if you're in an acute situation in a relationship trying to get a better assessment of the current behaviors we can use it retrospectively like i just stated and in homicides and looking back about what are the serious risk factors that were in this relationship i didn't ask you about anything other than don't the instructions limit this test to the previous year. You can give this test not only on the previous nope, asking year. asking you about the instructions. But I'm telling you how the test is administered in clinical practice and, and in forensic and, practice. And opposing counsel can, can come up and ask questions about it. I'm asking you about the instructions. And the instructions say, look over the past year. And yeah, on this, yes, that it says that. And you had actual knowledge when you gave the test that Mr. Depp 
was gone way more than a year before this test. That is correct. Right. 